On this episode of the Ask Mike Reynolds Show, we talk about whether or not certifications are important to obtain. The Ask Mike Reynolds Show. Helping people feel better, move better, and perform better. Welcome back, everybody, to the latest episode of the Ask Mike Reynolds Show. We're up in Boston at Champion PT and Performance. Dan Pope, Dave Tilly, Lenny McCrina here answering your questions. We got another great episode where we're going to really hit one question because, again, a very common question we get, and I think you know, elaborating on it is going to be is going to be a little bit more helpful for you guys. So, um, what do we got? Who's? Uh, oh, I get, do I have to introduce? I get to introduce you guys. So, well, let's go left to right this time. So, first from the University of Delaware, we have Brian Winkler. Wigs. The pause is helpful. I think that's perfect. Yeah, let's soak in. Brian Winkler. We have Andrew K. Baum, Curse Baum from the University of Oakland, which has nothing to do with California, and Alicia, the Savage Noah's Ark, Angelo from the University of Saint Francis. Uh, it's a little wordy. All right. Who's reading this question? What do we got? I got. It. Are certifications important to obtain? Next question. That was, a, that was a quick one. <laughs> Very good. Right? Yeah, so we get this question all the time, right? And every, sometimes we get the questions about specific certifications, like should I get this certification? Or sometimes, and we just had a recent one that said like, hey, you know, do you think it's important for me as a new grad physical therapist or a new strength coach that's in this world, do you think it's important to get these certifications, right? Because everybody's got a certification going right now. So, um, you know, is it important? Do those letters mean anything like that? That's always a conversation. So who wants to start on this one. I feel like we haven't started on the left in a while. Uh, it depends on what you want to do. Like as always, it depends. Um, I, I, some things are good, some are bad. It depends on your practice and where you want to go with your career, right? And and the information that that group is putting out. So I don't know. It's a, it's a short question, short answer, but I don't know. It depends on what you want to do as a clinician. All right. See you guys on the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. It's just it's just it's. How you what you how you value that information that's coming out and the person yeah. delivering it? You know, I, 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 that's actually an important statement, Len. Yeah, I, I agree with Lenny. I guess to expand upon this, I thought that a few certifications I took right out of school were super helpful for me. You know, like the selective functional movement assessment was great because I was working in a community where it's really important to understand regional interdependence and make that a quick part of your evaluation and make it systematic. So you basically go point A, point B, point C, make sure you um, quickly find the problems where they exist and the ones that don't exist. We don't have to worry about that and we can be very specific about our plan of care. And I feel like I didn't really get that in college and that was very, very helpful for me. Um, uh, l let me let me ask you though, did the certification help you or did the education help you? Well, the certification part of it did not help, I guess, if you're asking. Yeah. I, think, I think that's what the yeah, question is. Yeah. I think that's what the right. question is, right? Is like, yeah. is, the, is it important to get the certification? Because I, I think you kind of said it, and you kind of said it right there. It's like you value the information you got. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm super on the fence on this, too, because I've taken some courses, like Dan said, where I don't know if the certification was what I went through. I think it was like the information. And I've also been places like I value someone's opinion putting the research together and telling me how they do it and like if that requires a certification is to say you do their system I don't know if that's what we're chasing though but I've also like honestly moved a ton away from taking courses and going to get letters because I could just buy the books and read at my own pace and take the courses online and like I said I think it's way more about the information and I also think that sometimes when you take certifications you get very tunnel visioned in their thought process versus like slightly outside on either side you might find some stuff you would have never stumbled upon if you only took their school of thought yeah you know? I, I like that I mean that's you know I, I think each of you kind of said a little bit of what I would have said too in terms of the certifications I do think when we get this question the qu and, and we get a lot and students have it a lot when they ask us stuff I think they're specifically asking is this certification going to help me with anything <clears throat> And I think the answer is, I think when it comes down to it is, are you going to get a job because of it? Are you going to get a raise because of it? Is Blue Cross going to reimburse you more because you got it? You know, is a patient off the street going to respect you more because you got it? Right? And I think that's, that's the difference right here. And I don't know, there's very few certifications, I, none of them are going to get you more money. we will put it that way, right? Probably not going to get a raise. Right, you're probably not going to get a job because you have that. I think as an employer, if you came to me with certifications, I would like you as a well-rounded, educated person, and I could care less about what letters you had after your name. 
I think, again, it goes back to Dan, it's more about the education. So again, the certification isn't it, it's the education. So maybe it's, you know, the, the way we kind of, you know, say it a little bit here. So, you know, um, you know, a lot of people want to do certifications right now. So for us here at Champion, we're working on a future upcoming certification. And the reason why we decided to use the word certification was because we want it to designate that essentially it's joining a group of people that can communicate. It's, it's association that you, you understand the same thing. It has nothing to do with status. It has nothing to do with the importance of the letters after your name, right? But if you have that certification and you're a strength coach on the other side of the company, uh, country, that was weird, other side of the country, and I'm looking to refer a person, I think it would be really good to know that you've gone through a similar certification that I have, and maybe we can kind of share that. Right, so but we're creating a certification because it's it's our whole system. It's exactly how we do everything, and we want people to know that. Look, hey, you you understand that system. And the the nice thing about ours, though, to go to your you know your point here, is that it doesn't lock you in on one thing, right? And a lot of the certifications and systems out there do that, you know. So I I mean I think yeah, I wanted to answer this question as. The certification is usually useless, mm -hmm. and just you have to know that. You have to choose which ones you're going to go to based on what you want to learn, really. And the only benefit I can think of, and I want to hear you guys' thoughts again, the only benefit I can think of is that if you have a common certification, it's just a way of knowing that you guys think the same. Yeah. Uh, I guess a little tough. I mean, like when you, I'm thinking about back like when I interviewed here and stuff, like I wouldn't list all the textbooks that I've read to like be like I'm educated, you know. I'd list the courses you that actually I actually did. Actually, yeah. <laughs> no, I listed the courses that I took and the certifications that I had. I was like, I took the SFMA, I took a McKenzie, whatever. And like, I don't know if that was a factor in like getting hired and stuff. But uh, but again, I, about I think we marketing. like that you went to the course. Yeah, right. Not that you got certified. Right, so maybe this is just nomenclature. Yeah, probably. Well, people, I I think I think what we're trying to avoid is people getting certified to get certified yeah. because they think it's going to help them. So go. Lenny nailed it. It depends, and it depends on your rationale, right? It depends right. on why. Yeah, right? I think I think uh, I'm not a big certification guy, but I I, I I have TPI, I have SFMA, and I definitely back what we're doing because we I think we've always seen on our podcast that we take a kind of a middle of the road approach. We're not the outliers trying to present, you know, the the just the pain science side or the other side of just exercise. I think we take a middle of the road approach of manual therapy and exercise and education. And, and I think we're trying to get our combined years of experience and get that out and hopefully the people that respect everything that we've tried to share over the years, that they respect that and want to learn additional to what we've already given you guys in the past. So I think that's what we're trying to hit upon is kind of that middle of the road, what has worked for the general population of athletes and non-athletes yeah. and just kind of putting it all into one great thought process that can help and you and use your current information that you have and your current certifications and kind of put it all together into a beautiful package. The only other benefit I could see is marketing to non-PT professionals, like lay people. You know what I mean? Like that's the only pot. I know. have no idea. But if you say I'm like right. I'm a certified spine specialist, right. no like, idea. I go down for back pain. They have no idea. Uh, okay. My SCS. I mean, I'm certified okay. in SCS. That's the only thing I say. Nobody knows what SCS is, and yeah. I have it, but I don't know what it's done for me. My TPI yeah. has helped me with golfers. My SFMA right. has helped me assess people move, but then I've also got a dry needling but certification. The, so right, that's helped so me. I'm thinking about my studio. If he says like, "Oh, I'm certified through Titleist for golf," and they're like, "I'd go for you for a golf right, assessment." Right. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think that, of. That, yes. Right. 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 And, and I'll give you that. I, I think that's part of that's the other reason why we we decided to do our champion certification here is again is is, is so people know that it's credible, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Do you know totally. what I mean? Like yeah, it's yeah. it's almost like a it's like a check. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. Because right. Titleist is a well known name. And, right. Yeah. You know, champion's a well known name. Hey. Right, but you know, but like, no, but it's more of just like it's right. it's about it's about credibility there mm -hmm. versus you know. So I, I I guess you know again it comes down to it's like why are you getting the certification? Because I just think a lot of people are getting it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, what I will say sometimes too with, with a lot of my patients that I don't like say like, hey, my name is Doctor Dan, you can call me Dan. <laughs> I call you that. Though. Yeah, just funny really he's so day. he's so humble that I have to call him Doctor Dan. Doctor Dan, <laughs> <That's> so goofy. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times though a uh, you know, patient's come and is like, oh my gosh, you're a doctor, 
and then they trust you that much more just because you have that clout. No I can't say that getting like a residency and doing like yeah. a fellowship that that gives you that same amount of clout, but I do know some of my colleagues that have gone through that and they'll tell their patients like, yep, I have a doctorate, I've gone through a residency and a fellowship, I'm as highly educated as you can within my realm. And then a lot of times patients will, you know, think you have more credibility as a result. But then again, you know, what was the time commitment? What was the money? You know, are you getting a really good education from that? Are you actually a better therapist? You know, I right. think that's mm. that's the that's not part it. you have to ask mm. yourself. Yeah. So I guess in summary, I think the I think the, to, we're going to come right back to Lenny's answer and say I think it really depends on why you're getting a certification. And I think a lot of people are getting certifications for the wrong reasons. Mm. We've I've had resumes you know, submitted here of people that have had I'm talking pages like you would have listed all your books. We have had people just throw us resumes of pages of certifications. I'm like, is this person? Just confused? Right. Do they not right. know yeah, right. what you know, what they want to do? Are they just going up to, to, it's, to it's a basket work? weaving one yeah. four. It's the extreme of like I need to do everything. You know, right. it, there's it, you don't want to do a certification to become certified. That should be your right. least. Now that, that's a side benefit, but that shouldn't be your main reason. You should do it because you want to understand the education. The benefits of that is probably um, you know two things. One is like you enter a network. Right, you enter a network of other like-minded people that have gone through a similar certification process. So I like that. I think that's one benefit. I think then the other benefit is maybe again a little bit more credibility, right? Because they're like, oh, all right, I believe in this thought process. I believe in mm -hmm. that. So if those are your reasons, I think that's fine. But those are two subsets to me. Your number one reason has to be that you value the education within the, the certification <coughs> right. program. Because everybody's throwing a certification together and they're putting slapping that word on stuff, and I don't even know what that means, right? So right. you know, I think it goes more about like why are you doing it, and are you joining this network of like-minded people, you know, that, mm -hmm. that people can associate you with? Yeah, like so, oils certification. I think so, that's a great network. Yeah. The functional strength coach, like that's, yeah, you know, he did a good job. To me, that's so. a good one. Awesome. So great, great episode. Good answer. I like it. Um, um, well, I just said. We had a good answer. It was a good question. We killed it. Yeah, yeah I was say we did. We're awesome, guys. We're awesome, guys. ourselves on the back. Um, you know, I think it's important, though, to talk about certifications because I think that the main issue is about the clarity. It's not about what you're doing, but it's about the clarity. So we're super supportive of certifications, right? It's just you have to do it for the right reason. And I think that's our that's our main point. So mm -hmm. awesome. Another great episode. Head to MikeRinald.com. Click on that podcast link, and there's a form you can fill out. You can ask us some more questions just like that. Make sure you go to iTunes, rate, review, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.